Hi guys and welcome back to yet another Hogwarts Mystery episode. We are doing a time limit to the side quest and uh, you probably recognize this one right here. And this person <laughs> right here. So yeah, we actually gonna meet the Malfoys. This is the, this kind of side quest. Dumbledore's making an announcement. This is your fault, isn't it? Oh no, I couldn't read the others because I misclicked. God damn it. Professor Dumbledore said he's making an announcement today. Any idea what's about? I picked up a few things. Really? What have you heard? I heard someone important is visiting Hogwarts. Someone important? Who? <laughs> Looks like we're about to find out. The Hogwarts Board of Governors have asked that I make an announcement on their behalf. And as they are tasked with the care of this school, we must oblige them. Professor Dumbledore, what exactly is the Board of Governors? Excellent question. Allow me to explain. Now that you understand the role of the Board of Governors, I have an announcement to make. One of the school governors will conduct an inspection of Hogwarts. Allow me to introduce Mr. Lucius Malfoy. Ugh. Yeah, that's him. Okay, I'm sure my time here will be most illuminating. I want to keep y'all from this delicious feast any longer. Tuck in. Seems a bit odd that the school governors want to is in want to inspect Hogwarts. They've never done that before. What do you think, Timberly? This is price inspection seems suspicious. Yeah, I don't know for sure, but that sus surprise inspection seems suspicious to me. Exactly, why would they choose to inspect us now? Kimberly, we've got to go to the Shams classroom. Professor Flitwick wants to see us. Why? Okay, so Lucius is here now. Do you know why Professor Flitwick wanted to see us? I've been worrying ever since he told me. Do you think we're in trouble? Let's hope not. Oh. Good, you're both here. Why did you want to see us, oh. Professor? Mr. Malfoy requested a chance to talk to a handful of students as part of his Hogwarts inspection. Oh. That's what of both of you. I believe interactions are in order. Oh, oh yes, Ben Copper and Timberley Ironclaw are two of my most talented students. Ah yes, Timberley Ironclaw, your brother caused quite a scandal. And Mr. Cooper, was it? Oh. Why, why am I saying Copper? It's Cooper, obviously. No, it's Copper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's Copper, sir. Quite. Why don't you both tell Mr. Malfoy about your charm studies? It would be riveting. Let's see if I can rem remember everything Professor Flitwick taught me. Your magical knowledge is quite impressive. Any wizarding parent would be proud. Uh, my parents are muggles. And yet you're one of Professor Flitwick's best and brightest. Interesting. I believe it's time to take my leave. I shall watch your career with interest, Miss Ironclaw. Good day. Oh, is he gonna leave already? That was strange. Strange? That was horrible. I felt like a spider staring down on a pestle is. What did you think of Mr. Malfoy, Miss Ironclaw? I don't know, rude. I agree with Ben. Mr. Malfoy was rude and condescending. Especially after he learned Ben is muggle-born. Oh. Lucius Malfoy can be a bit difficult sometimes, but he is one of school's governors. We simply must cooperate. Fortunately, I've spent quite a lot of time around difficult people. Which reminds me, I've got to get your potions. And MC laughs while she says that. <laughs> uh, is Lucius gonna go down to potion class as well? Oh, yeah, he's here. What are you doing, MC? I'm merely surprised you've taken it upon yourself to inspect the school personally. Oh, Snape is sus suspicious as well. The future of all witches and wizards depends on the quality of their education. That concerns me, personally. So do you will find Hogwarts quite up to even your rigorous expectations? Now, if you will excuse me, I have a lesson to teach. Of course, good day, Severus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Such a weird look. Do Professor Snape and Lucius Malfoy know one another? Wouldn't you like to know, Ironclaw? I would actually, that's why I asked. 
Wait a moment. Do you know do you know anything about Lucy's my boy? More than you do. There will be no social calls in my classroom. I will not listen in and on your chat with the Lucius Malfoy. Marula? What's on purpose? For a better view the preparation of Sleeping George, we will discuss this after the lesson. I believe that is all the information of Sleeping George that you are capable of, of absorbing today. Well, we actually made one. Class dismissed. For uh, the vault thing. Expe except for you, Iron Claw. Looks like eavesdropping on Snape and Malfoy caught up to you, Iron Glow. I almost hope Professor Snape forgot about them. You as well, Miss Knight. Oh. What? Yeah, why her? It's because she... You're both acquired in the headmaster's office. Both of us? What did I do? It's not important. Can you tell us why Professor Dumbledore wants to see us? Let's just say you will finally understand what I must face on a daily basis. <laughs> Go, it would not be wise to keep the Malfoys waiting. Malfoys? There's more than one Malfoy at Hogwarts? And Rowan is just staring in, <laughs> into the door. Okay, you and Marula have been selected to assist Lucius Malfoy with the most difficult task of all. <laughs> what is that? Oh, here is Marula at least, but we are they are the others. I wonder why Professor Dumbledore wants to see us. You heard Snape, it's something to do with the Malfoys. That's the part I don't understand. I meet Lucius Malfoy and he didn't mention anyone else. Can't believe you don't know about the Malfoys. Everyone's heard of them. Well, I haven't. Can you tell me about the Malfoys? Why would I tell you anything? Uh, you want to boast? Because you will get to show off. Don't you know more about the Malfoys than I do? Obviously, and I will prove it. I'll tell you what you should already know about the Malfoy family. The Malfoys are one of the oldest pure-blood families in Britain. They are cunning, connected and wealthy. This is Malfoy carries a cane, black with a serpent head handle. It's his favorite accessory. How do you know all of this? Everyone knows Lucius Malfoy, Malfoy was in the league with Lord Voldemort. You mean Lucius Malfoy was a Death Eater? He says he was under the Imperius curse, if you can believe that rubbish. You know who cursed a lot of people. Could he be telling the truth? Malfoy would snog a firecrab before Voldemort told him to. Shh, I think someone's coming. Oh, little Dobby. Look at him. Mm. Welcome, welcome. I assume you're here to help Mr. Malfoy during his inspection of our beloved school. Help with what exactly? Professor Snape was quite vague. Mm. Severus always is. What do you want us to do then? It is a matter of a personal nature. Come in, Draco. <laughs> Look, he's so small, he's so tiny. I require, require the two of you, two of Hogwarts' most promising students, to look after my son for the duration of my inspection. Oh. You want us to babysit? Why us? Professor Flitwick spoke highly of you, Miss Ironclaw, and Miss Knight possesses the pedigree and magical skill I expect my son to emulate. Mm. I suggest you take young Mr. Malfoy to the courtyard, the three of you will get along swimmingly. Why are you saying that, Dumbledore? That's an insult. Is spawn yet? Oh my god, Marvel, the way you... Okay. Okay, here we are. Oh, everyone is looking at him. What is happening here? Sorry, I'm late, Marvel. I hope you haven't been watching Draco without me. Well, I have. She has, I mean... <laughs> What in the name of Merlin's favorite fluffy ba ba bathrobe happened here? Yeah. What happened? What happened was Manfred didn't tell us his son is a complete prat. I'm telling my father you said that. You two clearly have got off on the wrong foot, but we can fix that if we work together. We can start by tidying up before Phil sees this mess and hangs us up by our toenails. <laughs> cleaning? That servant's work. I'm not cleaning if he is not cleaning. You both made this mess, you need to fix it. It was her fault. Uh. No, it's not. Here is what really happened. Let me see if I understand. Marula borrowed a book from the library and Draco tore it up. Why would you do something like that? My father says the Fountain of Fair Fortune promotes marrying muggles. I see, and Marula ruined your paints. Uh. I dropped them when Malfoy pushed me. 
You started it. Back me up, Iron Claw. You know this is Malfoy's fault, don't you? Um. Yeah. Marilla's right. You should know better, Draco. I will tell my father about this, and then you will be sorry. That's it. Let's just petrify the brat. That's a terrible idea. What? Think you've got a better one? Since I've got to go to Transfiguration class, I will ask Professor McGonagall for advice. No one messes about in her lessons. What am I supposed to do? Watch Malfoy by myself? If you can handle it. Of course I can handle it. I have no idea how to keep Malfoy busy. You can start by cleaning up this mess. No. You heard Iron Claw start scrubbing. Suppose I should hurry up and ask Professor McGonagall for help with Draco. We'll ask her after Transfiguration class. Professor McGonagall, I've got a question. This may not be the appropriate time in Iron Claw. The inspection has put us all on edge. You are late. We'll only take a moment. We shall discuss your questions after a lesson. Let us begin our Valley Force review. That will be all for today. Class dismissed. Now that our lesson has concluded, what is it you wanted to ask me? Ruben and I are taking care of Draco Malfoy and he's rather challenging and spoiled. Surely you and Miss Knight are more than equipped to handle one child? I don't know about that, Marula was much help, they both made a mess of the courtyard. You've never had trouble keeping an entire classroom under control, that's why I came to you. My time as a professor has taught me that all children require a balance of discipline and patience, but most of all they need respect and engagement. I suggest having a conversation with the young Mr. Malfoy, learn what he's interested in, try to understand him. And if his poor behavior persists, ensure he knows that it is unacceptable. Thank you, Professor. I will give it a go. I've got to go back to the courtyard. Draco and Marula are waiting for me. Good luck, Miss Arianclaw. Yeah. It, me? Me? I knew that. But I guess Timberley didn't. Glad you finally showed up, Arianclaw. I hope you got the advice from McGonagall about Malfoy. I did. What have you two been up to? My father stopped by. He says we will go home as soon as he's done inspecting this place. I expect I won't have to see either of you again. Already? We haven't even been properly introduced. I know who you are. You are Timbal Ironclaw and she's Marula Snide. I'm Malfoy, Draco Malfoy, and this is ridiculous. Don't blame me, what's Ironclaw's idea? Come on, Draco, it couldn't hurt us hurt to talk to us. I suppose I haven't got anything better to do than talk to you so long as Snide doesn't try anything. Let's start with what do you think of Hogwarts? Hogwarts. I will tell you exactly what I think of Hogwarts. <laughs> Marula, shut up. I'm thinking about Puffskins. <laughs> okay. You want to know what I think of Hogwarts? My father says this place has gone to the dogs. Father, father says you are the best in your... She shows how pathetic this school has got. I'm the most powerful witch at Hogwarts. Not saying much, my father says this sorry excuse for a school is full of mudbloods. What did you say? Do you know what that word means, Draco? I know my father says mudbloods are an embarrassment to the wizarding world. Ha, do you come to tolerate that sort of language, Iron Claw? No. Draco, there's no ex excuse for using that word. What? Mudbloods? My father says it all the time. It's not like you can do anything about it. Dumbledore doesn't let you learn any real spells. Father wants to send me to Darmstrang. He knows the headmaster to teach proper curses at Darmstrang. I know loads of curses. Prove it then. Wait a moment. Locomoto Wibbly. On me? Eh, yeah, come on. Whoa. Very funny, Marula. Let me have a go. Too bad. You're too young and I'm not letting you anywhere near my wand. And you teach me, Iron Claw. You haven't got time. Your father should finish his Hogwarts inspection soon. You will simply have to wait until you come back to Hogwarts and learn spells yourself. Father, you won't believe... Not now, Draco. I came to inform Miss Ironclaw and Miss Knight that their caretaking duties will shortly come to an end. I expect I will see you in the headmaster's office soon enough. Okay, part two complete. There's a thief at Hogwarts. Can you find Mr. Malfoy's stolen cane and save an innocent house elf? <gasps> Make no mistake, Mr. Dumbledore. I will report this to my fellow Hogwarts governors. What are you doing here? Where's my son? Rula is watching him. Mm. Ask Miss Ironclaw to join us. I expect her... I expect her investigate, invest, 
the gative abilities will be quite helpful. Is something wrong, sir? Someone has stolen my wand. That's terrible. Who could have taken your wand? The thief must have known that I keep my wand concealed in my cane. Perhaps it would help to give Chimbalari and Claw a full explanation. Let me make sure I understand. You keep your wand in a cane, Miss Malfoy? And now your wand has gone missing? I believe that sums it up. Yes, very ast astute. I cannot leave Hogwarts until my wand is found and the thief caught. If you're sure the wand was stolen, you must have a suspect. Few people know that my wand is concealed within my cane. Myself and my elf. That is a serious accusation, Mr. Malfoy. Indeed, non-human magical beings are forbidden the, the use of wands. Such a crime deserves punishment. Good day, Headmaster. Sir, what will happen to Mr. Malfoy's house elf if I can't find a missing wand? I'm afraid Mr. Malfoy is correct. The code of wand use forbids non-human magical beings from using wands. House elves and goblins don't need wands to use magic. Why create a law in the first place? It's a matter of some debate. Do you believe house elves deserve to use wands, Tibbly? Yes, I believe the house elves deserve the same wand rights as anyone else. Perhaps one day the ministry will overturn the wand ban. Until that day, any elf found with a wand is, is subject to discipline. That is why I suggest you begin your search by finding the house elf before his master does. After all, house elves have a kind of magic all their own. They see more than their masters care to contemplate. Of course, this takes away from your time with Draco Malfoy. Marula will have to take care of Drake while I search. I will ask Penny to help me find. What was Mr. Malfoy's name? His name is Dobby. He sure is. Okay, it seems like Dobby might be here in the courtyard. I hope you've had luck keeping an eye on Drake Malfoy. Mrs. Norris says Malfoy's elf cleaned up the courtyard. At least he's held useful. Be careful around Lucius Malfoy, Timberley. You can't trust them. Wait. Hagrid's there? Yeah, he's on the, behind the big pill. Oh, I didn't even see that. Thanks for helping me, Penny. We we have a better chance of finding Dobby if we work together. Happy to help. Besides, I heard you've been busy babysitting Mr. Malfoy's son. It's been difficult. Fortunately, Marula is looking after Draco while I search for Mr. Malfoy's wand. But I better solve this before Marula snaps and turns Draco into a ferret. Why does Mr. Malfoy think his house elf stole his wand? He says Dobby's the only one who knew Mr. Malfoy kept the wand in his cane. Huh? I suppose that's rather suspicious. Do you think Dobby took Mr. Malfoy's wand? No. No, Dobby didn't steal his master's wand. Someone else must have known where Mil Mal Mr. Malfoy kept it. We will need evidence to prove it. We will know more when we find Dobby. And here he comes. Look, there he is. Dobby, this is Penny Haywood, and I'm... Dobby knows of Timberly Ironclaw. Dobby knows Timberly Ironclaw is searching for his master's wand. Did you know Mr. Malfoy believe you stole his wand? Dobby would never take his master's wand. House elves aren't allowed wands. Dobby's telling the truth. Truth. Dobby swears. Timberly Ironclaw must trust Dobby. It's alright, Dobby. Can you tell us anything? Dobby will try. Dobby knows where to begin. Mr. Malfoy's wand was definitely stolen. Yes, miss. And it's still in the castle, you're absolutely certain. Dobby would never lie to Timber Ironclaw. Dobby knows his master's wand is hidden at Hogwarts. Did you see who took it? Can't. Say. It's alright, Dobby. You can tell us. Can't. Can't. Oh. oh. Bad Dobby. Bad Dobby. Don't do that. What are you doing? Dobby has to punish himself, miss. Dobby must speak ill of his family, miss. Your family? You mean the Malfoys? Please, miss. Dobby cannot say, miss. You've got to let him go, Timberley. Alright, Dobby, you're free to go. Dobby's never free, miss. But Dobby sees Timberley in close point. Dobby hopes Timberley and Claude finds his master's wand. Oh. Dobby says the wand is still in the castle. I'm not sure where to look. But I know someone who knows every hiding place at Hogwarts. I will ask Ben for help. Oh, he's in here. 
Thanks again for helping me search for Mr. Malfoy's cane. His house elf Dobby says it's hidden at Hogwarts. Unfortunately, he couldn't tell me who the thief was or where they hid the cane. Any ideas? If I wanted to hide something, I hide it in here. See, that's where I came to. No one knows who goes hiding places like you do. I will do anything if it means Mr. Malfoy leave, leave us all alone. I never want to see him again. I don't understand, Timberly. Why would you help someone like Mr. Malfoy? To help Dobby? To help Dobby? Mr. Malfoy blamed him for the missing wand. Professor Dumbledore says if I can't find him, Mr. Malfoy could do something terrible. Then what are we standing around for? We should start searching for Dobby's sake. What does Mr. Malfoy's wand look like? Um, black, I think. With a snake head on the handle. It's got a wand inside. That should be easy to find. Let's start searching. I can't find any wands. What about you, Ben? Sorry, Tim. If Mr. Malfoy's wand is still at Hogwarts, it's not in here. Perhaps I'm going about this all wrong. It's possible the only person who can find the wand is the one who took it. I think it was Marula. Stealing a wand sounds like just the sort of thing she'd do, doesn't it? Now that you mention it, Marula told me about Mr. Malfoy's cane earlier. I was supposed to help her with Draco again soon. I suppose I can ask her then. But hurry, the sooner you find Mr. Malfoy's wand, the sooner he leaves Hogwarts. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, let's go meet Marula. Now oh, they are in the Great Hall. Job is counting on you to find Mr. Val Malfoy's wand. I would help, but I'm busy studying. It's no problem, Rowan. Draco Malfoy is my cousin, but her parents don't get on. Oh, Tonks, yeah, true. Mr. Malfoy visited my parents once. Why? And where? You and Draco are getting on rather well today. He's finally shut up, at least. No thanks to you. Been a bit busy. Professor Dumbledore asked me to find Lucius, Lucius Malfoy's wand. It's gone missing. Did you check his cane? The one he keeps his wand in? Exactly. He refuses to leave Hogwarts without it. He accused his house self of stealing the one, but Dobby says he wasn't the thief. So you haven't got any leads? Dobby says the wand is still at Hogwarts, and the thief had to be someone who knew about Mr. Va Malfoy's oh. wand. You will never figure out this out without me. Does that mean you will help me? Not read into it. The sooner you figure out what happened to the wand, the sooner the Malfoys leave. Alright, here's what I learned so far. So, whoever stole Mr. Malfoy's wand had to know that he kept it in his cane. Don't forget they had to be someone Malfoy wouldn't suspect or notice, like Papa. Actually, Ben thinks you stole the wand. Sh seriously? You have to admit that stealing a wand sounds like something you would do. Obviously, I'm the most powerful witch at Hogwarts. If I wanted to make to take Malfoy's wand, I would. Is that a confession? Of course not. Using Malfoy's wand would be like wearing his dirty socks. Wait, where did Draco go? You don't suspect me, do you? I, b I believe you. You didn't take Mr. Malfoy's wand. Glad we're on the same page. Now you can stop wasting time and think about this properly. The only reason someone would bother stealing Malfoy's wand is because they are scared of him. Who would be afraid of Lucius Malfoy? Ugh. Idiots. The only thing he's got is influence. He's never had real power, not like my parents. Draco seems to think his dad is powerful enough. Wait, where is Draco? And now they notice. He must have run out while we were arguing. Ugh. Don't blame me. He was behaving himself until you came in and started talking about Malfoy's wand. That's it. Exactly. It's your fault, Ironclaw. That's not what I meant. I rem remember when you jinxed me. Draco wanted to go. You told him he needed a wand. You got to find him. Let's go. Yeah, it's uh, probably the little the son who stole it. God damn it, Draco. Oh, we're running <laughs> and he's sitting and reading. I see you have lost track of the young Mr. Malfoy. No, I have not. He's right there. Draco Malfoy is nearly old enough to come to Hogwarts. Keep that brat away from Mr. Snorris. But you like him, at least in year five for Harry. <laughs> when Harry comes. There you are, Draco. We've been looking for you. You ran off, you ungrateful weasel. So what? I've snuck away lots of times. Marula, you were supposed to watch him. He's for you to say, Aaron Claw, you left me left me with all the work. Work, all you did was give me books to read. You got toffee saints all over my charms textbook. Why did you want to read about charms, Draco? Aren't you a bit young for classwork? I'm not too young to learn. That's why you stole your father's wand, didn't you? 
Hmm, alright, you caught me. I borrowed my father's wand. I was going to give it back, then need know I took it. Start at the beginning, Draco. Fine, fine, I'll tell you everything. Snide cast that spell on you and I wanted to try and you wouldn't let me. The father said we would leave Hogwarts, but he couldn't leave without his wand. I only wanted to say, stay here at Hogwarts a bit longer. So you stole your father's wand. He's furious. I was supposed to know. You must have known someone would get into trouble. Your dad blamed Toby for something you did. So, he's just an elf. Why should I care what happens to him? Yeah, be because Dobby is innocent, it's not fair to let your father think he stole the wand. What's fairness got to do with anything? It's not fair that I can't learn any spells. Ugh. Get over it, Malfoy. You stole the wand, so you've got to own up to it. I can't. My father can't. No. I'll tell you where I hid the wand. Just don't tell my father about Ugh. this. Out with it, Malfoy. Just behind that pillar, I swear. Well, that was a really bad hiding spot, dude. Anyone can go and pick it up. You stay with Malfoy, Ironclaw, I will see if he is telling the truth. Well, he obviously is, I can see it. Please, Ironclaw, you won't tell my father, will you? I will have to tell him something when we return his wand. Why shouldn't I tell the truth? My father might not let me come back to Hogwarts if he finds out. I think that's all... He just should be good. <laughs> Got the one. Malfoy was telling the truth for once. That's fine, Lucius Malfoy. I'm sure he wants his son and his wand back. You come with me, Ironclaw. We'll have to find Dobby first. Then we can return to one together. Okay, I thought we would go and search. Oh, we didn't have to. I guess we off camera we <laughs> searched for Dobby and got him. Okay, let's talk to the grown ups. Oh god, his face. I see you brought my wand and the thief that stole it. There's something you should know, Mr. Malfoy. We found the thief, right, Ironclaw? Dobby isn't a thief, Dobby would never steal his master's wand. Silence, Dobby. I will deal with you later. Mm. Now, Lucius, let's not jump to conclusions. Dobby is telling the truth, Mr. Malfoy. He didn't steal your wand. Mm -hmm. As we should hear what Miss Ironclaw discovered in the course of our investigation. Very well, tell me what happened. I will tell you. First, I went to find Dobby, as you and Professor Dumbledore suggested. Yeah, you're happy now. You got your wand back. What did this profile say? <laughs> Enough. If my elf didn't steal my wand, tell me who did it. Who stole my wand? Hmm. Now I'm gonna tell the truth. Draco took your wand, Mr. Malfoy. How could you? I told you not to tell. Uh. And Claude doesn't take orders from you, Malfoy. Is this true, Draco? Yes, father. Your mother and I will discuss how to deal with you when we return to the manor. Now it's... If that's all, Drake and I shall return to Malfoy Manor. I do believe that wraps it up. Well done, Miss Ironclaw. Uh -huh. And Miss Knight, whom I expect her hands full with her young Mr. Malfoy. Uh -huh. That's an understatement. I had to watch him while Ironclaw searched for that wand. Indeed. I'm sure you will be pleased to know your services are no longer required. I have completed my inspection. I will submit my findings to my fellow governors. Mm -hmm. I look forward to it. Good day, Lucius. I can't believe you told my father I took his wand. Someday I will come back to Hogwarts and when I do I will learn all sorts of curses. Just for you. Well, good luck with that. Timberly Ironclaw cleared Dobby's name. Timberly Ironclaw is truly a great witch. Dobby only wishes he hadn't put Timberly Ironclaw to such trouble. Bad Dobby. No, don't do it again. Oh my god. Why? You don't have to punish yourself, Dobby. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> Dobby must apologize, Timberly Ironclaw. Dobby can never repay Timberly Ironclaw's kindness. Timberly Ironclaw has any need of Dobby. She has only to ask. Oh, look, we got him as a... Is that a friend thing? Yeah, it is. Oh, look, here he is. That is all for this side quest. A time-limited side quest. And we did it all in one video. If you enjoyed today's episode, hope you would like to leave a like. And if you enjoy my content, I do more time limited side quests as well as ordinary side quests, Quidditch, all the things, main story. It's all my, my channel. 
if that would interest you i would suggest to subscribe and i hope we see each other for my next video bye guys